What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York at Stadium Goods with pop star Rita Ora. I used to wipe these shelves down. Right. And now, like, my own sneaker was, like, on there. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what she's feeling, what she's not, and then uh, hopefully she's gonna buy some sneakers. My favorite thing to do. Let's go. So, Rita, yes. you worked at one of the best global retailers' size. I did. Talk about that and any crazy stories from working retail. It was always fun because I worked there when I was 16, 15, 16, 17. And um, I hooked my friends up. So my girls ended up working in it and we nice. would play our jams and like, I'd like start like ad-libbing and like singing and like the boys used to come talk to us because we were like the, the shit, sorry. We were like the girls that were from the area that like knew about the sneakers, you know what I'm saying? So we were like the tomboy girls that were cute. Okay, <laughs> all right, that's cool. I heard that you have like a garage full I do. of sneakers. I do, I've got a garage full of like all my Jordans and from my ones to my obsession with 13s and like I know everything about them. You know, when they first came out in 1998, I became, I was eight years old. Wow. And I just remember seeing them and being like, oh my God, what are those? Like, what are those? Yeah. But like, not in a bad what are those, more in like a, what are those? Like, I need to find them. And I didn't have like the money to pay for them. So every time I would get paid from retail, I would just waste it all in one pair of trainers. Yeah. Sneakers. I don't, what should we, let's just establish this US now. US says sneakers, so you say trainers. Should we have this out now? Like, should I say trainers or should I say sneakers? It depends where you are. Oh, we're New York, I, I. You know, you gotta stick to the rules. Okay, cool, so sneaks. What, what are some of your favorites looking at these? You know, we'll get to Jordans later, but oh, this yeah. is like the women's section. Are you more of like pink and, and light or no? I'm so kind of like, I love wearing vibrant clothes. But when it comes to my sneaks, I'm a real tomboy at heart. Like I like contrasting my outfits okay. with like a real like solid trainer. Sorry, sneaker. Ah, you know, let's play Last a game. Time. Play a game, every time I say trainer. Yeah, take a well, shot. No! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Air yeah. Force Ones has always been my go-to. I just remember like being in my area, in my hood, and like this is when Dizzy Rascal first released his first album, right? Mm -hmm. um, Boy in the Corner, and it was an iconic record for our culture and for grime in general. He had this one lyric and it goes, it's an Air Force One. Trainers by the truckload, trainers by the ton. Don't daze when I catch you on your J's. And I just always remember, yeah. I need to go buy some Air Force Ones. Yeah. Him, for us, he's like the king. He's like one of the kings of grime. Like, he was the first one to really like translate our culture like overseas. It might not have like sold or been number one or anything like that, but he was independent and he repped it for us hard. Definitely. These are, I remember when I first Pippins. wore these and yeah. I wore them with the dress. Okay. And everyone would be like, what are you wearing? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, they don't know. understand. They you never don't understand. Know the Kiffins. These are, are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't even know where these are. You just reminded me about them. I need to go find them. Let's walk over here. Let's talk about some Jordans. Oh, my favorite. Boom. Rita, you were on our cover in 2012. I know. And there's a part of the story where you tell the author, Jordans are my favorite. Yes. Talk about growing up and the Jordans and what your favorites are. I just remember thinking to myself, it was such an American type of shoe because it was basketball and we had football. So we were all about like Reebok classics and like, I don't know, like dunks and mm -hmm. Nikes. Like Jordans were the thing where it was like, Basketball players wore them, but like if you were really wearing them, like you knew what you were doing. Yeah. So my first obsession was again, like I said, 13s were like my first kind 13s. of like, oh whoa, this shoe is so amazing because I was just obsessed with the bit hair, and I was also high tops back home. Like we never usually had like support like that. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yeah. So I was obsessed with just that, and it was a manly shoe, and I was like, yeah, I'm down for that. Nice. And then I got. My first ever performance I did for MTV um, EMAs, European Music Awards, were the nines, which, okay. where are they? The red ones. The nines that, are right here. Here. Yeah. So I just, this shoe brings back so many memories because I don't know if my stylist was lying to me or not, but he told me that they made this color for me. Wow. And now I see it here. Is that a so true story? So I feel story? like it's not a true story. I need to figure that out. That was in 2013. We got to fact check that. They lied to me. What do you think about the collaborators that brands are starting to work with? I think it's one of like the quickest way to get through to your fans without having to use any words. So this is like a basically 
a bigger way of doing merch. Yes. If you think about it. Because every time I designed a shoe, I would put out three collections a year with Adidas. Mm -hmm. And I did all the classic silhouettes. I did Shell Toes, Stan Smiths. And new ones like the tubular and stuff like that. And the that. tubulars, yeah. and then the boost started coming out, and then obviously Kanye then joined the family and it really helped yeah. like elevate sneaks into a whole world. And I went to Germany and I saw every single Adidas silhouette shoe ever, That's like crazy. from gazelles to like everything. And I was like, <gasps> like back in the day, like the yeah. original ones that like they it's don't amazing. even do no more. Rita at the age of 15 would have cried her eyes out. Rita, you talked about going to Germany, Adidas headquarters and seeing literally every Adidas ever made. The new Adidas, the NMDs, the Boost, talk about that and your success with Adidas. It actually started off as a one-off, like Rita designs a shoe, but it became really successful where they kind of offered me to do, I guess, three different capsules within a year. So wow. that ended up becoming an ongoing thing. So uh, from up to one year to 10 years, we made like 15 collections. I mean, it was crazy. That's crazy. I mean, my favorite right now, I'm not gonna lie, is Pharrell's. Yeah, I think so because good. it's almost like he combined the boosts with like- The NMD. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But this silhouette I saw in the, in the factory, but I think Pharrell was obviously being the legend that he is, mm -hmm. saw it ahead of time and was like, well, that's gonna be my silhouette. And, <laughs> Good for him because it did an amazing job. Absolutely. Was having a deal ever a gift and a curse? No, I mean when I when I had when I got my Adidas deal, I was so gassed on myself. I was like, yo, I'm making my own shoes. I was like living life. But then, yeah, I see my friends and like some Nikes would come out and I'd be like, wow, they're dope. But I wasn't complaining, you know right. what I'm saying? I was living my dream and live, making sneakers, being a sneakerhead, like what? I was absolutely fine. We talked about everything. Now's the time you get the browser shell, see what you're <gasps> feeling. I'm just like going through my childhood, looking at these, remembering, I had my first kiss at, no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, can I do um, those as well? Yeah, I, I saw one color that I'm, I want to get, so I'm going to go over here. And what about this one? Get out. So your total will be 2259 and 16 cents. Thank you. Thank you. So Rita came through, told a lot of great stories, bought some sneakers. Make sure you check out your song out now and the album coming soon. November. You heard it. <laughs> <laughs>